Come on. Oh? Welcome to the headquarters of the National Photographic Society. Publishers it's... of the ultra-famous National... It's working. We are currently working on a special issue called Dinosaur, Dinosaur Safari. Dinosaur Safari! Dinosaurs Start of the, the recording! Era. Your job is to collect data crystals of dinosaurs and other extinct reptiles. Perhaps you would like a tour. Good day, class. My name is Professor Adventure, and welcome to Dinosaur Safari. Oh, this an alien man's back. The cladogram room. The cladogram. In the cladogram room, you select heterodontal. Heterodontal. Salto. Salto and prepare for your directos. You Just pretty much click crystals and then you go in time and you go take pieces of dinosaurs. Room. Okay, start a new game. Okay, cool. Welcome to Dinosaur Safari. Man, I've been working non stop to try to get this game to work and it's finally happening. So what we do, pretty much, is we click on a crystal. Show me. The audio is a little cut off, but at least I got the game to work. So, also known as the Shoney Lizard. Uh, so, the Shoneyosaurus is not a dinosaur, it is a fish lizard. Ichthyosaurus. Shoneyosaurus uh, is the largest ichthyosaur ever known. So pretty much, you spend energy crystals uh, to go... You spend energy or crystals or something to go and take pictures of whichever. So that's a, the one we chose. Oh, that's down the wrong, the one, wrong way. We go in here. Yes, so we can go into the teleport thing. All right, so we auto locate it. So we gotta find this fish thing. So we probably gotta go closer to water. No. Yes. Uh, not quite that one, what we're looking for. No. That's what we're looking for. So yeah, we just take pictures. There we go. And then we time out. Nope, we're good. So we take pictures. Now what? Yeah, there we go. And they all go in. And that picture didn't work well. That picture worked. Okay, so that's that. I'm still just trying to figure this game out just as well as you guys can, so let me figure this out here, so. You are out of data crystals. Please allow. Okay, thank you. Wow. Please Okay, so each picture is a data crystal. Uh, okay. No, so pretty much, I think what you gotta do. Okay, so you gotta go to each time period and collect multiple pictures per dinosaur. I think, if I'm getting that right. It's unfortunate that the audio cuts out because I can't quite hear the instructions. But if I'm correct in assuming, this means that these three dinosaurs are going to be in the same time period. So I gotta find the Plateosaurus, um, the Riohasaurus, and the Anxiosaurus. So let's see if we can find those three. Okay, so in we go. 
Okay, so we auto click, so we go to the correct timeline. Now we've got to find him. That looks like him. Make sure we're in good frame. That looks like a good picture. Maybe take a moment to uh, what we need to do. So if I click on the book, it just shows what it is. Okay, so we already got this dinosaur, so what are we doing here? That's nothing. Help? Collected was worse than one before. You can only collect a few data crystals at a time, so like the best money shots you can. Okay. So you only need to take one money shot, I guess. Interesting. Okay. So that's the same thing. So. Oh, I'm rotating the earth. Why am I rotating the earth? Okay, so do we just cash those in? Done? Auto? Okay. Okay, so I got points for that. And that's the only thing I found. Okay, I think I understand now. You just gotta take the best picture you can. Every bad picture you take. Ta oh, I still have three crystals left. Okay. And these ones are unlocked now. I'm unlocking more as I go along. Okay, so that was a bad picture. So, that one's done. We all have some. So let's go to the next one. See if I can't figure this out. Okay, so auto. So I have three crystals left. So I gotta find this guy. The energy I've been given. Not gonna be there. No. No. Possibly? There he is. So I gotta get a really good picture of him. Right in the middle of the frame. That might not have been the best picture. And I'm sure I could find more dinosaurs if I click on more maybe. But I guess we just cash that one in. And we'll get payment for that. So I only got 40 for that? Okay, I'm missing something here. Let's go downstairs. This, what does this do? Verify that you have attained the level level of rookie photographer. Awesome. What do the books do? Notes. Okay. Well then, look at this. We don't need to read that, I don't think. Uh, what about the yellow book? Kids, here we go. Use the auto tool on the time machine controls to find your target's geological period. Once you've reached the geological period of your target dinosaur, you may find some clues to its location by using the guide tool. Ah, uh, okay. Some dinosaurs are hard to find. You may visit their geological period without finding them. A radar device would be helpful. Don't have that. Okay, so dinosaurs are shy. Selected shots don't waste data crystals. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Try to fill class. Only way to get new data crystals. Oh, okay. Video clips are worth two times still photos. Money shots are worth two times other shots. Target shots are worth two times non-target shots. Okay, keyboard equivalents. Blah, blah, blah. Print, copy, screen to clipboard. If you do something funny, you may use the alternate keyboard equivalents. Ah, so I can just add some energy. Enable all toodles. Okay, so those are kind of cheat codes. What's Red Book do? Okay, so these are all the sources from where they got all their information to put the dinosaurs into the game, I believe. And who's who? And those are the credits. Okay. Don't know what this does.
Okay, that shows the name of the place. Modern day world. Okay, so let's go back in here. So if I'm correct in assuming you can get m more than one. Let's try Radio. Let's try this last one and go get it. So, auto takes us to the right time period. I wonder if that's the one we're looking for. Nope, it's not quite the right one. Okay, so he's not going to be there. Nope. Nope, not underwater. Money shot! Okay. Let's just explore around a little bit more. Well, do you give us another hint, maybe? This land looks barren. The vast forests grow just beyond the horizon. In the modern day, this area is covered by thousands of feet of snow and ice. Let me show the friends we're looking for. What does this guy have to say? Being modern day, this area is very near Rio. Oh, Rioja. So that's probably based off the name of the dinosaur. Okay, so you use him to say where the dinosaur you're looking for is. But I already got the one I need. You know what, let's use, let's add some energy. No? Okay, so I'll click this. What's this do? Manual. Okay. I already got you. That doesn't change. Okay, so that's going back in time, but we already did what we need to do, so we put that crystal away. No sale picture? Clad Forest, Late Triassic. How come I got that wrong? Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here because this has been incredibly intense. But you know what? I'm going to come back in the next episode where I'm going to figure this out. And we're going to figure it out and figure this out. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll do a heck of a lot better than I did today. And until next time, class is dismissed.